Hey guys, it's Gadget, and um, this is not live. This one is pre-recorded. Um, ignore the face like I said. This happens every time. And yeah, it's gotten worse, I swear. But you know what? I don't care. Like I said, this does not phase me. Alright? I don't care if I walk out the door looking like this. I don't care. Okay, I never had acne growing up, so you know what? Let this happen. But this happens every time the weather changes. And all this other fun stuff and everything. And that thing is getting annoying. I don't even know where it went. But, um, what are we going to talk about? Well, let's see. Not much. Just some craziness at work and everything. I did, however, mail Christopher a copy of the book. Oh, boy. I know. That book is out there. It's on its way to him right now. Now, here's the thing. It's not out in publication yet because I still have proofreaders reading it. A lot of people are checking it for me. I've ran that thing through grammar checks, you name it, everything else. And people are still helping because of my dyslexia, helping me find things that I might have missed or the grammar check might have missed because depending on if it's a based on American English or UK English or whatever it is, right? Plus terminology because you got to remember different generations read things differently. All right, like, I don't know, but, but um, people have only spotted like one or two mistakes so far out of a 36 chapter book. So that's a good sign. They're writing the notes down for me so I can do my editing. And then I spoke to the publishers and everything and the proofreaders they had, and they said that uh, a lot of stuff was public knowledge, like his dad's injury, because I found all the newspapers that interviewed his dad and everything else and everything. Also, the uh, public knowledge of things I did write with the copyright stuff and everything, not to put in unless I, it was historic sites, things like that. The only thing they said would be sounding really odd is if he wants me to change what was told to me by both his parents and everything about the Asperger's autism thing and stuff. Because if I say what it could be and everything else, it sounds more damaging to him than anything else. And everything, and if he still doesn't want to admit it, even though I was told by both of them and everything, I can try to omit it, but it's not going to make sense if I try to, because then it defeats the purpose of the conversations I had and everything. I tried my best and all that, but if he doesn't want to see it either, that he might have that or a slight touch of it and everything, that's on him. You know, because I was thinking it was more social disorder he had versus anything else from all the times I talked with him and everything and stuff. And, yeah, my hair is still wet and didn't straighten it because I have to go somewhere tomorrow and, well, in about a few hours. So I'm debating if I'm even going to go to bed or not. I will, however, put cream on this stuff just so that it heals because it's at the point now where it needs to heal. Um... This is drained out and everything. Yeah, I get these things now and then because I'm prone to dermoid cysts. They mimic things and stuff. Dermoids mimic things. They can mimic another finger. They can mimic mine mimics um, acne. And it causes cysts, like really big bad cysts and everything. And they have to be drained and they have to be taken care, taken care of and stuff. That's why I don't care what I look like when I'm going out. Because you know what? The stuff to cover it up does more damage to them than just letting them be and everything. I can't. I have to make sure they don't. You know what I mean? So yeah. So like I said, I grew up with not caring about my what my images, what other people think of me. Because I was not going to risk my health. That's right. I was not going to risk my health to look pretty for somebody. I did it once when I had to do an acting thing, when they made me take an eyeliner, and I forget, I don't think I still have it anymore because they closed off that cyst and everything, where I had one here and they made it look like a freckle and everyone was like, oh wow, you know, you look so pretty with that freckle there and everything, because for some reason guys like girls with freckles and everything, I already have my originals that are buried under here from when I was younger and everything, but um, told you guys, there's a lot you don't know about me and that's why I wanted to go on those live feeds. But um, not much is happening. I did get one guy that said I was despicable, like I said. Um, what else is going on? Not Like I said, not really anything. I'm getting on with life like everyone wanted me to because even though I already was getting on with my life, but people presumed I wasn't, you know, 
things like that. But like I said, I don't hate his parents. I, don't, I love his parents. But I think his parents hate me because of everything that went on. Because I stood my ground and did not want to be belittled and abused. And everything. And I know it's their son and everything. But he's an adult. I have a handicap too. And you know what? You have to own up to what you do. You really do. And everything. I own up to what I did and everything. In my whole life and stuff. And I never used my illness or did learning difference as an excuse for anything. Mm -mm. And neither should he. He should learn what he did was wrong and everything. Even if someone has to explain it to him ten times and everything. Or not baby him. Because I spoke to somebody um, on my way home and everything. And she's a special ed teacher. And she said the same thing. She's like, until he learns his lesson, you're in limbo and everything. Because people with social disorder, Asperger's, or whatever you want to call it. If their friends are going to baby them and treat them like they're nothing, they're going to just see themselves as nothing. Or if people keep making them not independent or anything like that. And I said, before everything else, he was very independent. They go, yeah, that happens. They get in a fugue state and they just literally, you know? So yeah, it's one of those crazy type things and stuff and everything. So yeah, so like I said, the book is on his way to him. He can read it and everything I offered in the letter, notarized letter, to have, they can keep it. If they don't read it, oh well, anything, they can burn it, they could do whatever they want with it, and everything, it's theirs to keep. Just showing them what my viewpoint was, and everything, when I wrote in my notes, and everything, what happened before I got out there, during, and after I got out, you know? And if they want to, if his mom wants to correct it because of my dyslexia and everything, fine and great. Right now I'm trying to kill spiders, which I shouldn't be because I'm allergic to them. Yeah, I gotta watch that. And uh, other fun things in this house because it's summer and everything likes to come out of the woodwork. So let's see. Nothing else. I'm just, it's gonna be a short vlog today because like I said, I have to get ready for bed and go do what I have to do. I have to be up super early tomorrow and yeah, looking like this, I don't care. I really don't care. Because what can I do? I'm, I'm not going to get infections because I have to, someone wants me to cover my face. You know what? No. Live with it. I have to. You can. You know? No one has to be pretty 24-7. You know? Look pretty to make somebody else happy? No, thank you. You know? I like the way I look. And I don't want anybody changing that. So, let's see what else. Um, not many, no. Maybe one or two phone calls here or there and everything. But nothing concerning me. Just mostly like hang-up calls. So, we'll see what happens with everything. But right now, I'm dealing with everything else. Working on things. And hopefully tomorrow, getting more stuff out of the way and everything. Full moon is on Tuesday and... Basically, that's it. So, have fun tonight, and if Christopher's watching, enjoy reading the book. It's on its way to you. Bye.